Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the API integration and for this we are going to use the use case where we are showing the flight status info, right? Before moving on, uh, this is one of the requests if you, uh, this videos are free for you uh, but your subscription does help the creator. This is not for only for my channel, for every channel that you watch, right? Do subscribe to their channel uh, because uh, it helps a lot to the creator. So uh right now we are going to do the flight status okay uh for now what i am going to do or uh, have done is first of all i have already created the api right uh to get the flight status uh, real time flight status right so i am using a company called aviation stack again this is not a promotional video i am using their free stack okay Although this is one of the crap <laughs> APIs I have seen because it supports only HTTP. If you are using uh, free, it does not support HTTPS. And second, uh, after every 10 or 15 API hits, uh, somehow the server get crashed or something. Like it takes around one minute to respond. After that, it's all okay, right? For another 10 to 15, then again it crashed. Anyhow, so what I have done is... Uh, I will explain quickly the Lambda, which I have written or API code. This uh, code or the Lambda is again available in the GitHub and the description is given in the, uh, sorry, the link is given in the description section, okay? So since I'm using this API, right? So they have provided the API to get the flight status. They have given the API key, which is stored in my configuration, okay? So you have to do the same if you are planning to use and the flight number which I am supposed to get from the uh, contact flow, right? AWS Connect. So what I've done is just parse the parameters that I'm getting, right? And then I'm displaying the message, something like dated, airline, from, to, and the status, right? So this is the message which we are sending back to the Amazon Connect. Now let's go and start creating our flow, okay? So in the main menu, right? Uh, for the flight status, we are right now triggering this thing, right? So we will not trigger this one and even we will delete this node. We don't require. So what we require is transfer flow. So I will just copy control C and control V over here. It will come and it will go to this over here. Okay, so but uh, we have to create the flow first. What just happened? It's getting recorded, right? Yeah. Uh, manage booking is not required. We'll go to flows. Can we zoom a little bit? I can't see. Okay, so I will create a flow and I will name it like uh, read the manual flight status. Okay. And what we will do is just for now disconnect so that we can publish it publish one save the name and publish two so it got published now now what i will do why is this is appearing like black black uh, did i publish okay, let me just refresh maybe that will solve yeah Okay, uh, so over here, when users say flight status, we will transfer to that flow, RTM flight status, click save and click publish. So the role of this main menu is completed. Now what we required is over here, we will first ask the customer, uh, get customer input, right? So we'll ask for uh over here sure i can assist with the flight status please enter the flight number present in the ticket for example so for example, I'm using the real flight ticket. So let's say uh, Pune to Kolkata flight status today. 
I just need any of the flight ticket uh, flight name can it show can it show can it show searching okay so we have something like this so I will just copy oopsie I will just uh, copy and paste over here so that I can copy and paste while I'm doing uh, the testing okay so this will call the Amazon Lex now I don't remember which one has the PNR because it will be the same as alphanumeric right so let's go and see where is the PNR 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 no PNR yes and no PNR PNR yeah this one has PNR so since uh, flight number and uh, the PNR uh, sorry uh, yeah PNR and the flight number both are alphanumeric I'm going to leverage the same it's not advisable but that saves time so I'm using you for you if you are using planning to use in the production may I just use the different intent right okay so now from here I will copy this garbages one two three four five six control C control V over here let's zoom in let's zoom in okay so default error it will do sorry I didn't get that and sorry I didn't get that it will play back over here and this one also play back over here okay now once we have collected right uh, the PNR number right we will get back as a, we have to store it right so we will store it set contact attribute okay so we will store that in the uh, user defined that will be flight number okay and value will be nothing but uh, lex slots and what is the slot name PNR so let's go over here not here here and PNR okay save and now we will call the lambda uh, before going to that uh, we have to add that lambda so over here uh, where it went lex lambda so over here we are uh, we will add that lambda so that it appears in Amazon connect right so I will go over here now I will call the lambda okay and this will call the caller API we have to pass the parameter uh, what is the parameter flight number right flight number and set dynamically user defined and that is also a flight number click save and then what we will do is we will display uh, what is coming back no first we have to save it right so first we will save that uh, what is coming back uh, set contact attribute let's go over here set contact attribute over here also set contact attributes okay so it will be what I'm doing add another attribute it will be user defined uh, so we are going to play uh, status message right and the value will be from since it is coming from lambda it will be external and what will be the variable name what response object we have given written as message string so we will use over here and give gives click save and now we will play it out right and play it out 
so for now i am for error also i am passing over here uh, for production you should handle properly okay so what it will be it will be dollar dot a t t r i b u t e s dot i forgot the name i have given it was status message okay and then it will disconnect for now okay so let's click save and let's click publish okay all okay so let's see if it is working or not let me refresh it just and let's start the bot uh, 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 uh. why is it taking time okay so hi welcome to i will say help uh, i'm testing for first time maybe bot is by might take to start and it is taking time to start so right now i need flight information sure i can assist uh, with the flight status please enter that flight number so i will just copy and paste it over here and uh, it's taking time why is going over there <laughs> okay 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 i think that bot so if i give something like this it triggers oh, okay so we can't use ask pnr i think it's calling okay okay so thankfully i have another bot which is mobile number that will also fail right okay i have to create another bot okay and this is for ask what is the name uh, we are doing uh, flight number okay flight number as flight number flight number yeah it's okay and we will do language as en us sally and hello my name is sally and no bear with me guys so what happened is we are not able to use the ask pnr but what we will do is ask flight number okay which will be nothing but same as it's something like that and we will mark it as uh, what is that alpha numeric right and we will name it as flight flight n okay what i why i don't know we can give flight number because the internet name is different okay and uh, again i will give something like this and we'll change some digit and this will be also flight number click save and since we are given flight number i have to copy over there click save click build click build okay uh the changes that we have to do in the flight is over here right uh it will be returning as the ask flight number and in the slot we will change it to over here uh, that is done now we have to also change the intent name which is ask flight number so we will go back and the intent name is We also have to change this yes and no, but for that we have to wait for it build. It got build now. What we will do is go over here, uh, refresh back, and then we will add that leg spot as the flight number. Add the leg spot done now. It should appear over here also. The leg spot should be ask flight number. Okay. So now click save, click, oops, click publish. Okay, all done. So let's end the chat and initiate again.
Okay, so let's initiate the help. It generates this flight information. Sure, I can assist with this. I will just copy and paste now. It should get recognized by the bot. And we got blank response. Very nice, right? Now, this is what I was saying. Uh, sometimes this API that I'm using is crap. One of the crappiest API I have seen. But that is that's the one I found free to use. So what I will do is I will just cross validate everything is right or not. Just bear with me guys. Okay, so we got the flight number and we didn't get any response. Okay, so what I will do is I will just check Oops. if the code. Okay, now it's working. Let's go quickly to the close start. Help flight status, flight number. Okay, now we got the response, right? See over here now for this uh, flight, which is was which I just copied from here, right? For Pune to Kolkata. Come on, why so slow? Okay, so this was the something like this flight, right? And it was showing the status, something like this. And this is what we should have got over there. Maybe the time zone. Uh, so it is landed, right? And it is scheduled for for date yesterday. It is scheduled, and for today, it's landed. Why it is showing previous date? Uh, good question, right? Okay, maybe I have run something wrong over here in the API. So flight date and date. Flight date. Yeah, it's date, date only, right? For that uh, particular loop. Mm, let me check for this. Uh, what was the... Uh, just a second. Huh? This one, I will... Just a second. Maybe that is a response we are getting. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. So far, I don't see that I'm mismatching any object it's the object once it is enter it is just looping through that and then we are printing out right if i go back to my console logs now and see okay so now we will see 24 landed oh okay so it is coming like that 23 is showing a schedule so nothing wrong from my side it's all api fault but anyway, uh, that is how we have integrated the API and now we are showing the flight status, okay? So now in the next video, uh, we will cover how to deploy this uh, particular site to any of the website, right? It's pretty much easy, uh, but uh, we'll showcase how to do that uh, for any of the demos that we are performing, okay? Hopefully you like the video. Thank you. Have a nice day.